my hair looks so poofy i feel like i'm always complaining about my hair in every one of my videos it's super windy outside so my hair looks a little poofy and gigantic but anyway hey guys it's hannah welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is hannah today i have a very exciting video i'm gonna be doing an eyeshadow palette collection usually i'll do like a whole makeup collection so makeup collections do really well on my channel but they can be very very long and since my last makeup collection i did get a lot more makeup so i don't want it to be like 45 minutes to an hour long because that's just too long for a video because i have a lot of makeup it'll probably be like 45 minutes which is still a long video or maybe it'll be it'll probably be like 30 to 45 minutes either way that's a long video so i am deciding to put them into like part like this will be part one then the rest of my makeup will probably be part two or i'll do something like that i'm just gonna stop talking because i do not know how long this video is going to be so anyway i hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy um comment subscribe and let's just get into it so i film on the iphone 7 it's my old phone um but the back camera is broken so it's gonna be kind of harder to actually do this video but we're gonna figure it out okay so I just picked this plain blank wall because this is where the sun hits the most in my room, number one. And number two, just because I feel like it looks a lot more clean with like a, just like a plain background. So that is why I decided just to go with this wall over here. So throughout this video, you guys are probably going to see me over here. I'll probably end up over there. Um, you guys will probably see my shadow here and there, and I apologize for that. But again, this is the best lighting. So I'm going to do this video. Is, I'm just going to do it by brand because I feel like that's just the most organized way to do it. I'm also going to try not to talk too, too much about the palettes just because this video is going to be long the way it is. So the first brand we're going to start off with is Revolution just because I feel like I have the most Revolution palettes in my collection. So we have that stack, and then we also have these two cute little donuts. The first palette I have is this Revolution Reloaded Palette. This is in Neutrals 3. I got set at TJ Maxx for 4 bucks. Well, $3.99, but I'm just rounding it up to 4 I absolutely love this palette. I feel like it's just so natural. I love, like, natural, like, neutral shades. So I feel like this is definitely an everyday palette for me. This is just a beautiful palette, and I love it so, so much. Also, I'm probably going to say every palette is beautiful in this entire video, so I apologize for how many times I say beautiful in this video. <laughs> so the next palette I have is a Soph X palette. I believe I got this at TJ Maxx for, like, 6 bucks or something. Mine is, like, destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Also, most of my palettes, I still keep the plastic on them. Mine is just absolutely destroyed. This is what the palette itself looks like. I honestly haven't used any of the colors in here besides these two shades right here. I used to use these every day like going to work in my inner corner. I use like a certain like brush. That's why it looks all dotted. So that's why those two look kind of funny and weird. Let's put my nail in there. And then these two over here are just broken. I have no idea. This whole mirror is like off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the whole mirror is like falling off. So I'm pretty sure the mirror just dug into it. But this palette is just broken. I feel like that's why I don't really use it because it's all just broken. I don't want the mirror to fall off and then we have to retape it. So honestly, I feel like that's why I don't use it enough. But guys, I see a lot of shades that I really, really do like in here. So I definitely need to start using this palette. On everybody else's YouTube videos, though, I see like their Soph X palettes are like this also. And they have them all taped up in the mirror. So comment down below if your guys is also like that. Because I know I'm not the only one. Because again, I saw it on like on other people's YouTube channels. So let me know if yours is also like this. Because I just want to know. So next, following that one, I have the Soph X Extra Spice palette. I've been wanting this palette for so, so long. And I finally got it at Marshall's. A few months ago, actually, I believe this one this one was also $7. It is super duper pretty. So what I really, really love about this palette is that it has your browns and also has, like, those colorful kind of colors. So that's what I really, really like about this palette. I don't know. I just think it's really, really beautiful, and I've been wanting this forever, and I'm so happy I got it. The next palette I have is the Revolution Wild Animal Integrity. I think that's how you say it. I'm not quite sure. This one I cannot remember if I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But either way, I absolutely love this palette, and I feel like I love it most just because they have such big pan sizes. Like, as you can tell by the Soph X ones, they kind of have, like, a smaller palette, which there's nothing wrong with it because the colors are still beautiful and I'm still going to use it. But this just has just really big pans in here. I don't know if any other Revolution palette, like, has them like this. See, so yeah, and also, like, this palette is one of my colorful palettes. It's not, like, an everyday palette, but it's still a beautiful palette. The next palette I have is the Roxy Roxasaur Roxasaurus Color Burst Palette. And guys, I absolutely love this palette. I honestly just picked it up because I like the packaging. And then when I opened it, I never even saw it before until I opened it. And guys, when I opened this, I fell in love with it. It is, they just have such beautiful colors in here. Also, Revolution eyeshadows are really, really good and pigmented. So all these like bright shades in here are just amazing. 
I love it. Again, it's not like an everyday palette, but still, it's just a really gorgeous palette. I believe I got this one from TJ Maxx also. I'm not quite sure. Also, you guys can see me now. Oh my gosh, I have my hair up. Hi. So like I said, I have these two little donut ones here. I have been wanting these donut ones for the longest time. Um, as you guys know, in 2021, I cannot buy any makeup throughout the entire year of 2021. Just because I just have way too much of it, so I'm trying to use a lot of it up this year. So this is the iHeart Revolution Cherry Pie one. And I've been wanting these palettes for the longest time. And that's what this one looks like. I have been wanting these palettes for the longest time. And I'm so happy I was able to grab them before 2021 came. Because I wouldn't be able to buy it. But Oh gosh. I have this yellow one. This is the custard fill one. And this is what this one looks like. This is like more of like a natural kind of one I would probably wear every day. Just probably not the orange or yellow. <laughs> that's just like too much for me to wear every day. Personally. It looks so dark on camera, guys. I promise you guys these shades aren't this dark. The, like, the color, like, the, I don't even know. Like, the camera's making it look so much darker than they are. Oh, my gosh. My poor yellow one keeps on dropping. The next one, I have VH Cosmetics. I only have just two little palettes here. The first palette I have is, it's my, I, is it Ray Ray? A Ray? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I got this one also from TJ Maxx. This one, I think, is honestly really, really pretty. I honestly just love all the shades in here. I think they're all just really, really nice, and they're super duper pretty. And then I also just have the Ashley Tinsale Illuminate Beach Goddess Palette. Now, this one I honestly used to use all of the time. I used to use this bronzer up here every day for eyeshadow. Um, I used to use Maui Feet... No. I used to use Maui and... What was the other one I used to use? Was it Bora Bora? No. I used to use Maui and Fiji a lot but other than that i really haven't used this palette that that much again it is super duper light but on here it's showing it super duper dark but i promise you guys it's not that dark this is definitely just an everyday palette so that's that palette next i have this brand called manage i have four of these i used to have seven there's my cat i used to have seven of them but now i only have four because i gave a few to my friend because i just didn't need them so the first one is this one they are just really really pretty first of all i love the packaging i used to like um use it as like decoration but i've actually been using this one a lot recently and i've also been using this one a lot recently this one broke it was like a really really beautiful pink shade it was in pink dream i absolutely loved it but it broke so I decided just to get rid of it altogether, or else I wouldn't really open up this palette because it would just get everywhere. So I had to take it out, sadly. I tried to fix it. didn't work. So this is what we're just left with, but still, I use these shades a lot. This one is also very, very beautiful. I feel like this one would also be a really nice everyday one. And then this is just the last one that I have. This one has more of, like, shimmers in here. Also, if I can grab them. As you guys can probably tell, these have the same shades. Like, this one has peach in here, and then this one also has peachy. Um, they're just, like, different... Like they both have, they're both the same name, and I thought they were the same colors, but honestly, they're like a little bit off. Like this one is a little, bit, like this one over here is a little bit more pink than this one. This one's a little bit more brown. I'm um, also have two of the same shades, like the two red ones down there, and Safaro. So that's like the only things I didn't like about these palettes. That's why I got rid of a lot of them because they were just like duplicates of shades I already had. I got this off of Amazon, by the way. Next, I have this brand called Color Co. So the first palette I have is this Wild Heat one. This is this was four fifty. I think this is on the clearance rack. But it was four fifty at TJ Maxx. This is a huge palette with just beautiful big circle shades. Again, huge palette, but again. I keep on saying but again, but either way, these are just beautiful, beautiful shades. Now this one, this one's super duper old, as you guys can tell. Um, this, I believe, is color code. I got this from Five Below. Um, this is the Golden Glam palette. I used to be obsessed with this thing. Why is this opening? Ew. That's gross. I think there was, like, sticky stuff on there. I mean, obviously, but... I haven't used this in so long, but also, like, I feel like... I don't know. Like, these two shimmers in the middle here, I loved, and I still do love... I don't even know why I don't use this. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me of, like, um, the Anastasia, 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 however you say it, Beverly Hills palettes, like, the Modern Renaissance, like, those type of palettes. I'm not saying this looks like the Modern Renaissance. I'm just saying, like, those type of palettes. Okay, anyway, but, but also, I just don't like these two shades over here. This red and blue over here, they're just so dark. I don't know. But, like, the shimmers and stuff in here are really, really pretty. Next, we have this brand called Cara Beauty. So, these both palettes I got from TJ Maxx for six bucks each. This one is the Vacation Mood, and just look at this, guys. This palette, oh my gosh, you're so messy. I apologize, but this is just very, very beautiful. I also let my um, brother's girlfriend, Macy, borrow these, 
and she absolutely loves these too. They're just really, really pretty. They're beautiful. I'm pretty sure she used these too because I don't really use the black shades in here, but she also loves this palette. So guys, this palette is just really, really good. I like all the bright shades in there. Then I also have this one, which is the Tropical Vibes palette. And this is what this one looks like. My tripod went into that shade. My shades are always a mess, I feel like. This one kind of has like more of like purples in here. Next, we have Profusion. I only have two of these also. First, I have this Warm Glam palette. I got this from Five Below. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I just don't want to... It's just like, it doesn't motivate me at all. I just never want to use it. It has all the shades that I love in it, and that's why I bought it. I bought this like two years ago on Black Friday, and... I just still have not used it. Like, I used it probably once or twice since then. Like, again, I love these shades. Like, this is, like, a palette that's just totally for me, and these are just the shades I love. But honestly, it's just, like, I don't know why I just never like to use it. It's, like, even when I look at it, I'm just like, eh. You know what I mean? It just doesn't motivate me. So, I don't know. I just don't use it. But it's, again, a really, really, really nice palette. I just don't use it enough. Then this next one is another gigantic one. This is the Profusion Celebration Palette. This one is, ap oh my gosh. Well, it makes it easier for me, but this is, again, a really, really nice eyeshadow palette. It comes with a brush. It comes with uh, eyeliner. It comes with blushes, bronzer, highlighter, and just 40-some colors. No, not 40-some. There's definitely not 40-some colors. How many colors are in here? Guys, these shades, though, in here, like the Moonstone, Strobe Light, um, Seaside Wavy Shell. These are just beautiful. This lively one collapsbo i don't even know but these shades are just different and they're so so beautiful oh my goodness next i just have two of these new color ones i got them from my mom in like a set the first one i have is this classy one this is more of like a nude everyday type of one for me and i think it's like really really pretty and then we have this one in glitzy again this is like more of like a play around kind of fun one for me. Has all those bright fun shades. I next have some LA Colors ones. I have more than this though. I just have to find them. The first one I have is this LA Colors nude one in Bear It All. This one I just got from the dollar store for a dollar. Really, really pretty. This shade like broke so again I had to scoop it out or else I wouldn't want to use it. Even though I barely even touched this palette. But it's just a really, really pretty palette. This one is pretty similar to the other one. But this is um, another LA Colors palette in Speakeasy. Super duper pretty, another four little one. These are, again, very, very similar. Next, I have the LA Color Stylish Palette. And this is what this one looks like. I really love the, I'll do it this way. I really love the purple shade right here. It's just so different, same with that pink shade right there. Just a really beautiful, different kind of palette. I got all these at the dollar store for like a dollar, by the way. And then I have this other LA Color Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Glamorous. I haven't really used this, but again, the blue shade in here is beautiful. The green, there's some really nice shades in here also. So I got this one for Christmas, and it's like the LA Colors Mood Setter little collection thing. But you get like three different changeable eyeshadow palettes, so you can kind of make your own. So I'll put them all in just so I can show you guys. And what you kind of do is just kind of like pop it in here like that. So the first one I have is this beautiful one. It has like pinks, golds, browns. Again, it's a very beautiful one. Why is it not focusing? I don't know, maybe it is, but it's beautiful. And you kind of just pop it up. There's like a little tab right here on the side of the palette, and you just kind of pop it out. This one is just like kind of more like a berry kind of palette. It has like all like the berry kind of shades in there. Again, a really, really pretty palette. This one, does I don't even know what this reminds me of. This has just like some random colors like purples, browns, nudes. I actually have another LA Colors one, and it's just this glitter palette, which is just full of just four, full. Which just has four, I don't want to keep holding them upside down. It just has four uh, glitters in here. Next, I have a Wet n Wild little stack here, which are just these three, and they're all glitter palettes. So I have the, this one, I don't even know. These are all limited edition, by the way. So I have this one. This is an ethereal. I have no idea. If you guys can see, I don't even know. This doesn't even focus. Like, why? This whole video is out of focus this whole time. I'm going to cry. But this one has, like, blues and pinks and greens and silvers this reminds me of summer or like spring then we have this one this one is in neutrals and this one reminds me of fall this is like more of like a definitely like a fall glitter palette so next one we have is this one this is um the i don't even know what that says fm maybe this is in boogie monster this i think came out around how like it was i got this around halloween time so the next section is just like random palettes that like I just don't have duplicates of. It's just like 
It's like I don't have like two of these in the same brand, if that makes sense. So these are just like random palettes. So the first one I have is this e.l.f. Rose Gold Palette. Sunset. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. This is the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette. Got this at TJ Maxx for $4. This is another one of my favorite palettes. It's just a very everyday neutral, a very everyday. An everyday kind of like neutral palette. I love it so, so much. It's beautiful. Next, I have the Nude Huda Beauty Medium I know, this is a Huda Beauty, what? The Huda Beauty Nude Medium Obsessions. No, Huda Beauty Medium Nude Obsessions. There we go, that's that's the right one. Guys, this I absolutely love. I've been wanting this for so long, but I just don't like buying expensive makeup. There's just no point of it. So I got this as a graduation gift. And when I saw it, I was so, so happy. That's my sister's stuff over there in the mirror. I apologize. But so this next one is just something my friend got me for Christmas. Her name is Natalie. Um, she got me this for Christmas two years ago, I believe. And this is an eyeshadow palette. She like, customized it herself and everything. And let's open it if I can. Oh, this one's stuck together too. So we have Taco Bell because I love Taco Bell. But now McDonald's is my favorite. <laughs> I have Dollar Tree because I love Dollar Tree. And then I just have a good nickname that I call her. This one is Pretty Little Liars. I used to love Pretty Little Liars. I still like Pretty Little Liars, um, but it's not like on Netflix or anything anymore. I just have my boyfriend's name and then Banda, which is my dog. And then it just says Merry Christmas Hannah right under the mirror. Next, we have the Morphe palette. Guys, I've been wanting this palette. This is the one, in, this is the Oh Boy 25D. I've been wanting this palette for the longest time. I actually got this at TJ Maxx for like 13 bucks or something. I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure. But either way, I got this at TJ Maxx, and I was so happy when I saw this. And guys, I really, really wanted this one for a very long time. I honestly don't use it a lot, but this is definitely like my everyday kind of shade palette. So this next palette is something I got for Christmas this year. Also, this is the Twilight Dusk palette. And guys, this is by Miss Rose Professional Makeup. This is my favorite palette. Like one of my favorite palettes ever. I love this so, so much. It has such beautiful shades in it. I honestly just love this so much. I use it so much. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with this palette. Like, let's just be honest. <laughs> I love this so much. Next, I have this one from the Color Workshop. This is the Hue. And look how beautiful this is. It's like a colorful palette. It's really, really beautiful. Next, I have this one from H&M. This is just the H&M eyeshadows palette. I used to use this a lot, but I just don't use it anymore. But it is really, really pretty. Next one I have is this Ulta one. It's super duper pretty. Hold on. This came in like an Ulta beauty box that I got for Christmas a few years ago. I am hitting pan on some colors in here. Oh, I love this palette so much. The top broke off as you guys can tell. But I love this palette. Another one of my favorite palettes. I hit pan on those two, obviously. I'm about to hit pan on this one and this one. I just love this palette. It's, again, one of my favorite palettes. I absolutely love it so much. I can't. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I absolutely love this palette, as you guys can tell. This one I'm just going to get out of the way. I have no idea, like, what this one is. I got this from my friend. I asked her. She has no idea what it is or, like, where it came from. So, this is just, I don't even know what this is. But, it's just a whole bunch of colorful, like, shades. And I absolutely love it. I'm hitting pan on a few of them in here. Maybe just, no, I'm hitting pan on two. This one and then another pink one up there. But I love that. I love this palette so, so much. They're just really, really fun looks. I'm just going to also get this one out of the way. This is a Laura Beauty palette. This is an opal. I got this after my surgery as a gift. But guys, it is shattered. Like, it breaks my heart because I got it as a gift. But is this doesn't even open. Oh my gosh. It's literally shattered. You guys can't even see in there. It's literally shattered in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. All the eyeshadow is gone. Oh no. Just there's like a little bit, just the top came off, but oh my gosh. Next one I have is this throw shade. Honestly, I use I use this as highlighter, not eyeshadow, but this is the beauty intuition one. A beautiful, beautiful palette. Again, I use this uh, for like highlighter more than anything. And then this is like the top. The top is super duper cute, it has sunglasses. It's cute, it's cute. And I love this. I got this from five below. Last, no. Well, the last big palette I have is the Impress You Beauty Glaze palette. Another one of my favorites. I love this one so, so much. This is like the knockoff of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Guys, these colors are so pigmented. I absolutely love this palette. Another one of my faves. I highly recommend. Oh, gosh. I dropped it. Okay, let's check it quick to make sure it's not broken. Yeah, okay. Got this off of Amazon. Love it so much. The rest I just have of single eyeshadows and like liquid eyeshadows. Some of my liquid eyeshadows I use as highlighters, so that will be in the next video. But this one I do not. This one I use for eyeshadow, and this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. 
<laughs> what? Exhibitish? I don't even know. Nobody come at me for how I pronounce stuff in this video. This is just in shade 5. It's a really, really beautiful shade. Let me just tell you, it's beautiful. Ooh, this will look good as a highlighter, though, to be honest. I never tried it as a highlighter, but I feel like it'll look good. I got my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and the one, another one of my favorites. I love this. This is actually my first ColourPop palette, my first giveaway I ever won years and years and years ago. I hit pan on it. I just never used it. Oh, God. I next have this cute little NARS one. This is an Ashes to Ashes. I got this from TJ Maxx also. It's this shade. It's cute. And then these last two are both from the brand Beauty Benefits. Got these at Dollar Tree. I have this color shadow. No, color shadow. Color squad. And this is in satin blue. It's just like a really light blue. Also have this one. And this one is in ocean blue. And so it looks like the blue raspberry uh, dum dum. I was literally getting ready to start the second part of this video. I literally just filmed the intro. And I forgot I have one more palette that I forgot. This is the Hard Candy Galactic Eyes Palette. Um, but this is just another colorful palette. This has like a weird consistency. It's kind of like a gel, but then it's kind of like a powder. I don't even know. I actually got this at Dollar Tree. I look absolutely terrible now because I had my hair up and now I just put it down just for, to end the, the, the hello. Just to end off this video, I'm also going to start my next video, which is like the highlighting, like the rest of my makeup collection. So I need to film that while it's still really, really bright and nice outside and have some good lighting. So it is a perfect day just to film that one too, just to get it out of the way. But yeah, anyway, I literally haven't posted out all this week. I apologize. Today's Sunday. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part one to the video. Subscribe because part two is coming soon. I'm about to film it right now, so part two is definitely coming soon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.